Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every week. Hello, welcome again to our video cast from Little Baby Bump. I have eminent, eminent pediatrician Dr. Adesh uh, Sumshekar with me. Dr. Adesh, I think today's question is quite um, interesting to all our parents, uh, uh, you know, being brought up in today's age of the TV, the internet and other things. The question is how much time should the child spend in front of television? And I think it's something that uh, bothers pretty much everybody, doesn't it? Difficult question, Rajiv. If I say something, I have to be also one of the followers of that. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> anyway, the recent reports and articles which are coming about it say that a young child should not watch TV of more than half an hour a day. Look, now, it's very difficult to restrict a child to that time. But what they have noticed is, one, TV, especially when what viewed from a closer distance affects eyes. Second, during TV, there is more of um, inactivity or laziness, which is killing of a child's outdoor activity. Again, outdoor activity is needed, as I have told previously, 5 to 10 percent of children today are obese, who are less than 12 years of age. So, these are two important things which is happening. It may be that parents, both the parents are working, they are busy, they are unable to give that amount of time and TV for them is a good caretaker. So there is that uh, drive from the parents just to put on something so that they at least are safe sitting in one place and seeing TV. Mm. But that is inculcating a wrong habit. Once it has gone away a bit too further, it is very difficult to get them back. Mm -hmm. So. As a rule, if that is possible, we should restrict our children to watch half an hour of TV or not more than half an hour in the weekdays. Perhaps the weekend you would like to give them one hour, that may be fine. Oh, that sounds draconian compared to what we are doing right now. But fair enough, I think uh, the viewpoint is very clear. But the question is, isn't there insight or value that they get out of watching TV as well? So there's a lot of things that they could potentially learn as well, isn't there? So I'm happy for the parents to make a timetable, let them plan, let them give a couple of shots to some mythological characters, say Ramayana, Mahabharata, whatever is coming on the TV, couple of cartoon characters, at the end of the day they also would like to laugh, can be your good old Tom and Jerry, Ben Ben, other couple of um, views into the animals, discovery, science, so you are also giving them a healthy mix, you are advising them what to watch, when, so kind of you are also driving their interest, but very clearly keeping them at not more than half an hour. If they want to learn more, let them come into the good old books. Mm. And what about um, internet and video games and everything inclusive it's half an hour or is it uh, each so of these half an hour, how does it work? So the TV very clearly I said half an hour because um, you can clearly see that uh, the use of spectacles is on the right mm -hmm. and more alarmingly if you walk into a standard of 5th standard or 6th standard, you see that 20-30% of the children are already wearing. Mm -hmm. So it, it was not so much say two decades ago. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only difference what our children are exposed to, what we didn't have is TV. Mm -hmm. all, all other factors remain the same. So clearly TV seems to have some side effect. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, coming back to the internet. Definitely, if you are able to monitor the sites where they are going to mm -hmm. and giving them half an hour, it's fine. But I don't see how much time they can get off. TV half an hour, internet half an hour, and then play half an hour and where does that leave with homework? <laughs> Which is a tough act, but I think uh, the message coming from the doctor is very clear. Uh, we have to restrict these things. These things have to be rationed, otherwise, uh, you know, the health obviously is a direct implication. Apart from all the other implications of, um, you know, behavior as well. Thank you very much, Dr. Reddy. Really appreciate this. Um, Thanks for looking forward to the next conversation. You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM Layout, Second Stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com slash littlebabybump. Thank you very much for listening.